Hi guys and welcome to Mac Monday. Today we are going to do the simplest smoky eye there is using three eyeshadows and you know I had to amp it up with a little bit of the bling bling. You can opt not to use it but I just wanted to add a little something special and yeah so let's get started. I've already primed my eye with Max Prep and Prime. I'm back to this guys. This is um, this had been a favorite of mine for a couple of years so I'm back to this and my color is medium dark and you know I've already carved out my eyebrow with my NW35. Today we are going to play in the uh, black ground or is it blackout? <laughs> Max Black Paint Pot and I am just going to place this on the mobile lid and a little bit around my um my bottom lash and that's it I like this Mac brush because it's a little pointed guys and when you go to go up underneath your eye your eyelash it gets right as close to your eyelash line as you possibly can so I'm liking that and you don't have to be so so neat because everything is black <laughs> Everything is dark. I'm going to blend that edge out just a wee bit. Then I'm going to get a little bit on that point of this brush and go up underneath my lash, my lash line, my bottom lash, guys. You know what I mean. And there we go. Just softly. I didn't want to do a lot because we're going to line a lot eye anyway. All right, so there we go. Now, because I am doing all MAC products, I'm gonna go with um, Max Carbon. But if you're looking for a really, really deep, deep um, black, then I would say that <laughs> Makeup Geeks Corrupt is probably the deepest black that you are going to get. Um, okay, so I'm just going to load some black up on my brush there and a flat brush and I'm just going to pat it on. Guys, this, and keep in mind, you don't have to do this with uh, just the color black. You could do this with any deep color. I mean, you could do this with navy would be pretty. You could do this with charcoal. That would be pretty. Brown, of course. Um, if you're really into deep purples. I like, I just happen to like a black eye. I just think that that's sexy as I'll get up. Now, for my transition shade, I am going to jump into Max Rule. You all know I love that. My E38 brush from Sigma. And this is going to be my transition shade that I'm going to take up just above, well, just below the brow bone, actually, guys. Just to warm it up a little bit. And I'm actually going to take that brown up a little high. So, but this just helps to warm it up a little bit and give it a little bit of a punch because these are kind of cool colors we're playing with and guys keep in mind you could just like really there's no <laughs> wrong way to do it at least i don't think so <laughs> but you know that's me um then what i am going to do guys is i am going to take I've got a Mac Brown that I want to play with. It's a little cooler brown. You can take it in bark, which is this color, but that's a little red in it. I'm going to take this cooler brown. I'm not sure what it is. Um, when I depotted it, <laughs> I did not think to put the, the names of the colors on the back. That was just crazy, but that was me. So 
I dabbed a little bit into that black guys because I want it really kind of dark and then I just smushed into that brown so that it's not too dark and then here we go right above that black now if you don't want to take it all the way up that's cool you could leave a little bit of that orange showing through that's great to warm it up just a, just a smidge just a smidge and you can see I've got that brown almost going all the way up to that brow bone guys and then what we're gonna do just to make sure that we don't lose that is we're gonna go back over it with the concealer now I did not use um, an eyeshadow to um, to uh, highlight my brow bone I just kinda wanted to keep it deep and dark and see guys that's it I mean literally really like a couple of minutes right and then there you've got a smoky eye and then you just want to blend and make sure you've got it you know all the colors blend together like that real simple smoky eyes are like the simplest eye you can do truly okay so just in case you've lost some of that depth in your brow bone just take this and carve it out again just to brighten it up a little bit just a little bit and see how you've got that gradation so you've got the black then you've got the uh, black brown then you've got that little bit of orange peeking through and then you've got the brow which is the lightest and I just use concealer that's it guys and of course if you want to use an eyeshadow you most certainly can but I opted not to now you can leave it like this and that would be fine you know pop on your eyelash or whatever whatever you're gonna do oh gosh guys let me line and I am about down to the nub of my feline here let me line the eye real quick when I said smoky eye is like one of the quicker eyes you're ever going to do, was I lying? And guys, you don't need to do a thick line on the top because, well, it's all black and it's not like anybody's going to see it. So, um, there's the liner. Now, with feline, like I've said before, if you do not set feline, you are going to be in trouble. So, Take a little bit of your carbon, go around the feline up top and the bottom, guys, just to make sure you're setting it. And it's not like you have to be super neat or anything. Then, what I also did was I dipped a little bit into that darker brown, guys, with. Where's my little soft brush that I was using? Guys, have you ever had like so much stuff in front of you that you can't find what you're looking for and it's right in front of you? So I'm going to take that brown that I mixed with the black and just go right up underneath the black liner just to s smoke it out a little bit. And it's not like you're going to really see it, but I don't know. It just adds a little something, something to it. There we go. And now, what I did was, I believe this is antique glitter. I dumped a little bit of it out on my uh, spatula, my palette. And I am going to take a little bit of Too Faced glitter glue. And pop that on my mobile lid. Loving this, guys. Love this stuff. And then I am going to take my MAC fan brush and my little my little mascara fan brush. And then just pop that all on top of that glitter glue, guys. 
Now you don't have to put this much on. You could put very little or you can add more. It's up to you. Okay guys, I am going to pop my lash on and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am back. I've got on uh, my lashes and I finished putting the glitter on the one eye and this is what you have. I love this. Now, let me just say, can I just say with this eye, you do not need a strong lip. Now, you might have wanted to do a little more color than I have on, but I don't think you need a lot of color because I, I personally want to keep the focus on my eyes. Um, so what I did was I, ha I used um, Duck. For my lip liner, this is an eyeliner in brown by MAC. I use this as my lip liner. Now, you could use a warmer um, lip liner that will probably give it more color. Um, and that again, of course, would be chestnut. It has a little bit more red in it. So that will probably give your lips a little bit more life than uh, what I have. And then what I did was I put Gaga on top of on top filled my lips in with Gaga and then just in the center I used a tad bit of myth so um, that's what I got going on my lips now um, you all know I don't like a lot of blush I do like some but not a lot um, so what I did was I love this this is a, a favorite of mine. This is uh, Max Optimistic Orange. And you remember me telling you that this is really cool if you want to bump up one of your like more neutral shades of blush, like say this one, Eversun. But of course, you know, I only use just the slightest amount of this Optimistic Orange. So it might not show up as much on camera, but you can certainly see a little tinge of orange in, um, in a uh, person. So I use these two as my uh, blushers. And then, yipe, guys, look what I just did. I just put my blush in my optimistic orange. Yeah, I took a nice little gouge out. And then for my highlight, do I need to say what I used? I promised that I was gonna start using something different, and I will, just not today. <laughs> Perfectly poised and magnetic appeal. I don't use the one that I normally go to every day, which is comfort because it's not available. Um, so you all know that I use the black ground for my base, carbon on top of that. Then I used this as a glitter and just a brown in, in rule. And then my NW35. So... That is pretty much it for the face, guys. Like I said, this smoky eye is just about the simplest eye that you could possibly do. And you could do it really quick. And I just think it's sexy, especially for a night out. And you can get it done in five minutes. And to me, you can transition any day shade, any day neutral shade into a smoky, pretty eye rather quickly especially if you're using browns because all you need to do is just slap on a little bit of black and intensify that brown a little bit and just bring out your brow bones a little bit okay guys did my nails this is opis by candlelight you all know i love the light shades and this is a frost light shade that's what i got on my nails today um my sterling silver ring came from indian river out in um Vegas and yeah this is actually signed by the um the guy who did it and it's black onyx this is a a feather it's native american actually let me let me show it to you here guys there it's uh, a native american ring you can see the feather. It's got uh, your turquoise in there, your black opal. Um, the background is onyx, and then you have a little bit of onyx through the feather. And then there's another like little purple stone. And this is a unisex ring. I love it because it's a nice, thick piece of silver. And in the inside, 
I don't know if you can see it right there, but it is signed by the uh, artisan who uh, did it. So, you know, if you're ever out in Vegas um, and you get a chance, stop in the store. It's in the magnificent mall of stores, that, that mall or something like that. It's in there and it's called Indian River. So, yeah. And then... You all have seen these before. Uh, these are sterling silver dangling rings within rings, I guess you want to call it. But yeah, that is it for this week's Mac Friday. Eh, Mac Friday. Mac Friday. Mac Monday. And um, yeah, and I'll be sure to have the color of this listed below because I really, really love it. It's got some, guys, it's got some colors in there. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got some colors in there. This is really, this is really hot. This is sexy. I think that I will be probably using this a lot more frequently, and this is a good year-round glitter, too. So that's all I got, guys. Please leave your comments below. And, oh, and I wanted to thank you all for the response, um, my home tour, my living room, dining room, and family room. Thank you so much for all the positive responses. So I think this week um, I'm going to do my bedroom. I think I'm going to do my bedroom and the powder room that's off the kitchen. So, yeah, I think that that's what I got going on this week for Wild Card Wednesday. Okay, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you for NARS Tuesday. Okay, have a good day. Bye-bye.